we finished up after the first strike. We fell back, recuperated, sort of reorganised. And uh, Ponsford put Flash Freeman with his mortar in a good position. And at a given signal, Flash let Flash with HE, with his twinch mortar, blasted the local post office and the school and that area. And we went up, one section left, one section right, and we cleared the village. And uh, we chased, we actually chased the Germans round by the cemetery because they run off towards Breville. But we, we, they called us back. But we had been following Berlin, you know, but our blood was up. We took about 35 prisoners. And uh, I'm afraid to say, a lot of the people that was in that garrison were white Russians and Poles. Now what happens when you're facing a load of maniacs, i.e. us, and you're shooting at us one minute, then you walk out the door with your hands up? Uh, yeah, well, like I said, we took 35 prisoners and uh, got nine power, took them down the hill for us, and there's pictures, there's photos of them, taking them down the hill, and at the bottom of the hill, where the photo was taken at the junction, the air card, as they called it, there's our bikes against the wall. And the nine power blokes took our bikes. Not only them, some of the people in the village took them as well. Thank you very much. Bloody nuisance. Anyway, that was that. That was the capture of uh, Amphibile. And of course we consolidated and uh, then we spent five days in a hedgerow beating off German counterattacks. We'd been in that hedgerow five or six days. We'd push back how many bloody counterattacks and things like that. And we come back into the grounds of the Chateau d'Amphreville. And uh, everything. we had a night, we had a night to get a night's sleep. Then we would brief the day after, and after that nearly every night we were out on patrol. Either reconnaissance patrols, raiding patrols, or whatever. Every night, get out there and do something. Keep the Germans on the up. That was the idea. You can't, you can't have a continued line like in 14, but you've got to keep the others down, you know what I mean? So that's how you do it. They call it aggressive patrolling. You know, get out of there. Peter Young used to say, if you don't go on their doorstep, you're going to wake up one morning and find him on your doorstep. You've got to get out of there. And we carried on like that until we advanced from the uh, Bois de Bavant and we advanced right up to the Seine uh, en Fleur in August and uh, we were finished. Free command, I was the unit, was finished. I know my troop was left with about 19 blokes, all ranks. Out of 75 soldiers, three officers, four sergeants, a sergeant major, and 74 men. There was 19 all ranks, that was all that was left. 